Hey guys, Seth here. Hope you all doing great. Um, today we're gonna react to the new Honest trailer that was just released today to um DCU's or DC's um it's confusing to DC's um Blue Beetle. Um, I'm hoping they like the film, and I'm hoping um I mean it's not it's not a DC masterpiece, but it's a really good DC film nonetheless. Though I mean I mean I'm hoping they'll point out some of the um the jokes that the, the jokes that just didn't feel right though, but also just but also um but also but also point out that how it how it's kind of a good movie though but it's a really good movie but um i wish they could have made, made it more engaging though but hey i still enjoyed it for what it was though and i, I still think it was a good kickoff to the dcu though even though it's kind of is and though like i said it's all confusing so without further ado let's get right to it if you guys like this video please feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel it's very much appreciated so let's do this guys here we go Woo! let's do it comments away here we go Away. They've played fast and loose with Batman, yep. cut Superman down yep. to size, Literally. and sent Wonder Woman to the cameo zone. Pretty much. Now, DC now. is shrugging a made-for-max film into theaters while their universe burns as their newest hero shows up to a party after the host shat on the couch and sent everyone home. Bienvenido a la fiesta! Blue Beetle. Meet a hero who is definitely still canonical, even though this movie isn't? As you welcome the most beloved Latino hero of all time to your screen, George Lopez. <laughs> the new Tamagotchi? He's Rudy, the only conspiracy-minded uncle to somehow dodge QAnon. So oh. if you made him the Blue Beetle, this would be ten times more interesting. Batman's a fascist. But <laughs> instead, like we'll settle for Cobra Kai's Zolo Maradueña. Uh, yeah. He's at the magical time in a new star's life between their first starring role and their first set of veneers. <laughs> as he takes on the part of Jaime Reyes, a good kid from the wrong side of GTA Vice City. Does anybody in this town know how to drive? <laughs> Over. <laughs> Everything will change when he contracts a mean case of superhero origin story, symptoms of which may include itching, itching. Oh, so itchy, yep. thing. burning, ouch, Ooh. oh my god, I'm on fire, <laughs> and weird boners. Hey guys, I found something in the drawer. Nothing happened. Her mom died. <laughs> <laughs> because his body's been hijacked by the Blue Beetle, an alien suit that's just as deadly and effective as a fighter jet controlled by your Alexa. Accurate. Like, curse you, AI! Testing acceleration systems. Too bad, too bad! Post overreacting. You cannot me! Rebooting. Rebooting? Together, started. they could search for where the Blue Beetle came from, why it's on Earth, and why it chose Jaime as its host. I wish they or did they that. Or they could just not do that. You don't actually care about Blue Beetle, do you? They don't. What the hell is Blue Beetle? Uh, like Warner Superman Brothers. Like Metropolis or The Flash in Central City, but just uh, not as good. Hmm. It's kind of a letdown. <laughs> If you need an actress to fall in love with a guy pretending he's in terrible pain, you call Neymar's ex. Neymar! <laughs> Bruna Marcazzini is Jenny Cord. She's a billionaire Nepo baby on the board of her daddy's CGI army factory. Yep. But if she were running things, they'd be a charity. Honest. It's not about taking from the community, but giving back to the community. Watch Pretty her much, play yeah. Hide the Big Blue Beetle Box from Susan Sarandon's Victoria. A supervillain who's contractually obligated to do at least one racism per scene. Dr. Sanchez, hello. Hey, actually, that's not my name. We'll have a cigar. They're made by real Cubans. Wow. Oh and who got her degree from the same grad school as Dr. Evil. Yeah, pretty Don't much. get in my way, Jennifer. Target the family. They could kill him. Oh, bummer. We I can mean, learn a lot more if we take it off his corpse. She's Whoa. Evil. The only explanation that makes sense is if a bunch of Dalmatians drop kicked her mom off a cliff as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Such bad <laughs> DJ! Spider-Man, Iron Man, Venom, and man or Shazam, then you get it. It's one of those. Take your pick. You're becoming symbiotic. What's different is its celebration of all things Mexican-American. From on-the-nose references like tacos and the Virgin Mary yep. to more deep cuts like Chesperito or having at least one emo relative. 
that pulls off the rare feat of making you care more for the unpowered background characters than for the hero, villain, action, or backstory. Look, it's not a bad film, nope. but we just watched 30 superhero origins in the last 10 years. You're gonna have to drop more than bug farts on us to break out. Yeah, that's a joke. I, yeah, I, I did not like that joke. That's so terrible. So strap in for a zany, fun superhero adventure that's maybe the 1,000th movie to end up with two guys in identical super suits fighting, but yeah. still makes the most out of a solid cast. I I deserve a luxury dump right now, all right? A great score and a promising young director. Yep. And who knows, if enough people watch it on streaming, maybe it will get a sequel after all. Fingers crossed. Alive. Fingers crossed. Ted Cord is alive. See? Ted Cord's alive! Ted Cord. He was the original Blue Beetle. Well, kinda. He's the one that found the scare, but it was actually a professor named Dan Garrett who the suit chose. Is it? Hey, where are you cares. going? Starring. Hi, may I be your Iron Man? <laughs> Jenny. Things you'd never expect to hear five-time Oscar nominee Susan Sarandon say out loud. Without the scarab, we can't complete the OMAC. Carapax, ready the claw. The scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. Show me the Carapax. <laughs> Simba, you Accurate. have forgotten me. <laughs> Miss Larval, uh, yeah. Greg Guevara, what we do in the lab coats. And Uncle Trucker. <laughs> a bug strife. Uh, <laughs> like a bug's life. Nice. So, Blue Beetle's one of those heroes who won't kill. No killing! He should really tell that to the rest of his family. Oh! oh. It's like I can't miss! Oh. Exactly! Oh! Wow! Hey, look, Mom. I got the Honest Trailers guy to read my sentence. <laughs> I will say anything for love. But, but I, I won't say, say that. that. How many zombies could Rob Zombie rob if, if Rob, rob zombie, zombie could rob zombies. zombies? Sometimes I have trouble controlling the volume of my, my voice. voice. <laughs> Woo. Great honest trailer. Uh, yeah, at least they, th they said it was good, though, but it's not terrible, at least. Yeah. Some of the I mean, I wish they could have made, made the plot more engaging, but I'm glad we'll be good. we got what we, we, get, we, we get. It was it was a good start for the DCU though. I will admit that though. Even if it's even if the start of DCU is confusing, even if the premise of the DCU is confusing, but I'm sure it'll get. I'm sure I'm sure the coming years DCU will find its footing though. Because James Gunn, I trust James Gunn pretty well, but he's better than how the DCU had handled their movies though. And Warner Brothers, especially the Snyder Cut, especially we got Rob with the Flash. Um, you know the the big scene with the Flash, you know the, the final climactic part of the battle, which. They robbed us of that. Instead, of we had the we had the we had, in the theatrical cut. We had the, uh, the the saving the the saving the um the saving the family and cartoony crap and that or that ugly orange tint. That's why the that's why Warner Brothers is the reason why the Flash happened and Ezra Miller screwed up big 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 time. Consequences and yet it results in the DCU. And in fact, Ezra Miller today just got announced. It got announced that either Gal Gadot, Ben Affleck, or, or um, of course we know this for a while. Henry Cavill will not come back come back for DCU. But um, even Ezra Miller, because you know he's history, and plus that film is bad. But play opportunities for Jason Momoa. Hopefully, he can get his Aquaman character in DCU if it's possible. But if not, hey, Jason Momoa is still, Jason Momoa is confirmed to be in DCU and playing a different character and um starting with a, playing a different kind of character, different kind of hero or character or villain. I can't remember, but hey, I I think we see him in Superman Legacy. So I'm looking forward to that. Hey, I think DCU is in, in, in good hands though with James Gunn. We'll see. I they had it, it's got to be clear on the premise though. They have to. All right, guys. Um, I, ho I hope you all enjoyed this honest trailer. Um, let me know what, what, what your favorite parts of the reaction video did you like. Um, don't forget and don't forget, and did you like the honest trailer itself? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the latest reaction videos to honest trailers, um, left and right. Subscribe to Screen Junkies in my channel and center. All that goes black. Um, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It's very much appreciated. So we'll see you guys next time and rock and roll, guys. Woo! Take care.